even though he hasn't yet officially announced he's running, he's already many Conservatives' favourite candidate. He sells himself as someone with a proven track record, and he has done some terrible stuff. For instance, at his urging, his state's medical board banned gender-affirming care for minors, and he signed a 15-week abortion ban into law, while recently suggesting he'd sign a six-week one if it reached his desk. What makes DeSantis extra popular on the right is his willingness to wage big, symbolic culture wars. Florida is where woke goes to die. DeSantis says woke so often it begins to lose all meaning, but if you wonder what he thinks it actually stands for, his general counsel once helpfully defined woke in court as the view that there are systemic injustices in American society and the need to have policies that address them. Which is a hell of a thing for someone to admit to everyone that you are against. <laughs> and the most recent thing you may have heard about are books being pulled from shelves in Florida schools. Those images of empty shelves are very real and are the direct result of DeSantis' actions. And when you take all of this together, the books being removed, then inane proclamations to shame trans athletes, these sloppy attempts to criminalise protests, and you combine it with everything else, from the support for restrictive abortion bans to the efforts to stop gender-affirming care, it really begins to feel like the freest state in America is only free to the extent that anyone wants to behave exactly the way that Ron DeSantis thinks they should.